Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. Approximately a week ago I did a review of uh, Ender 2 Pro CD printer and since that I'm using it quite regularly because it is a great portable small printer but I noticed that I have to relevel the bed after every four or five prints and uh, so in this video I would like to replace those uh, stock uh, factory prints which hold the uh, printing surface in the place with these uh, stronger yellow springs and uh, if, this is very simple and quick uh, upgrade uh, if you want to see the disassembling and assembling jump to this timestamp but uh, every upgrade video I would like to start with explaining the reason for this upgrade and I would like to confirm it with some numbers so what is the purpose of these springs and as you can see they uh, hold the position of the aluminium plate against this uh, fixed plate and there is a knob which we can rotate and with this we can move the corners of the bed surface up and down and with this uh, we can level the bed which means the setting the bed surface parallel to the moving plate of the nozzle now this means we need this uh, spring elastic until we uh, do this adjustment but after that we want it uh, so to stay strong in the place without any movement and during the printing they will move because of the smell of vibrations during the printing but also aggressive removing uh, printed objects from the surface will also result uh, that the knob will unroll a little bit and with this uh, we have to reroll over the bed again. A few months ago I compared the factory springs, these yellow springs and also the silicon columns. Uh, I measured the compression force in function of the deformation and uh, the conclusion was that uh, the yellow springs and silicon columns are much stronger. The silicon columns are recommended to the BL touch uh, but I got some comments that, uh, okay, I measured the compression in function of the deformation, but here we actually need uh, to know what is the unrolling torque which holds in the place the knob. But actually it is in linear correlation, so uh, the compression force is in linear correlation with the friction force, and the friction is in linear correlation with the unrolling force or torque if I multiply with the arm but never mind in this video I want to uh, measure directly the unrolling force with this uh, knob which I printed on, uh, on Ender 2 Pro and I want to measure directly the unrolling force so we will skip the middleman in this video and uh, I will measure it with the factory springs and also with the yellow springs which uh, I know they are much stronger but we will see uh, how much stronger they are I will remove this magnetic surface so it will be easier to work with and I will remove this one knob and I will replace it with this printed one and when it touch the place I will make 5 rotations that will be 2.5 millimeters of the compression Okay, that was 5 rotation, uh, 3.5 mm for compression, and now let's uh, measure the unrolling torque. 0 0.285 kilograms. And this is now measured with the yellow springs after the installation. So now it touched the plate, and now, now we do 5 rotations. And now let's measure the unrolling force. Zero point four one five was the peak. In the first step, move the Z axis higher. It will be easier to operate below it. Then you can turn off the printer and remove the power cable. Then remove all four knobs. And then remove the bed and just place it here on the side. Springs are here in the place, except the fourth one. Here we have this uh, holder for the power cable. And here they are side by side, you can see they are the same length. 
but uh, when I compress it with my hand I can feel that uh, the yellow is much stronger and pay attention to the top of the spring you can see here the flat surface this means it will better align to the flat uh, surface flat plane approximately length is 20 millimeters mm, outer diameter is 8 millimeters and inner diameter well it has to fit uh, the m4 bolt so it's a little bit bigger than four millimeters i will start with placing a spring here on the back left uh, bolt But then it's a little bit harder to do it in the front of camera. I hope I will not cover anything. I will place one uh, spring here on left bolt. And where they are almost in the holes, then I will place the other two springs. And four bolts has to be inside the holes. And I can place back these knobs. And now I will compress them approximately to the half length and then uh, I will start with the bed leveling process and actually I am done. If for some reason you will install the silicon columns, let's say you want to install the beer touch, uh, the one will be shorter and that's the one which goes to the back left position because here we will uh, have uh, two millimeters less space because of that holder of this uh, power cable for the heating bed. I will place this magnetic surface back to the base. Turn on the power and start with the bed leveling. Leveling process is finished. Uh, now I can lift the z-axis higher a little bit and try to print something. And on the conclusions, uh, definitely I know that already that these yellow springs are much stronger compared to the factory versions. Uh, in this experiment they were only twice as stronger compared to the factory springs. Uh, but I know from my experience earlier that uh, they hold the position much uh, better and I don't have to relevel the bed so often. I have this experience on my uh, Ender CV2 when I replace these springs. But also some uh, other uh, printers arrive with these uh, springs. For example, Ender 5 Pro arrives with the three most common upgrades on Ender 3, for example, and that's a metallic extruder, Capriton Teflon tube, and also these uh, yellow stronger springs. So, uh, as a conclusion, yes, definitely highly recommended upgrade because it's cheap, it can be done in 5 or 10 minutes, and trust me, uh, it will hold the position much longer and you don't have to relevel the bed so often, because uh, on this printer it is very uncomfortable to rotate those small knobs, especially the left back one, it is hard to access it because we don't have too much space for it, so definitely, yes, uh, it's much better if I don't have to do that so often. Okay, I hope I could give you some useful information. Thank you for watching and happy printing!